everyone, I'm Keely and this is Voice of a Creative and I am going to be filming little clips um, when I'm doing sewing and other bits and pieces so that I can put them together to just put some extra content out. So I'm in a slightly different position, I've propped the camera on a box rather than get the tripod out. I am about to start tidying my sewing room so it's not that messy but every time I come in here I've got muddles and things like that that I want to kind of sort out. So some of the things that I'm going to sort are that massive basket here of that's all scrap fabrics and then I've got the white boxes and then behind it a brown unit that doesn't fit with the rest of the furniture. So I'm going to move that hopefully under the desk and then put the white boxes away. I'm going to be trying to sort out the stuff up here which you can't see as well because there's quite a few things stacked above and that's where also my PDF patterns are as well. So I'm going to be trying to sort a few things out just to make it a little bit of a nicer space and I haven't had a chance to do that too much so I'm going to do that and then hopefully later on I'm going to get on with some sewing. I want to try and finish some of my works in progress things and also since I'm still going to work next week I will still need dresses to wear so hopefully I'll be able to wear some of my new dresses. Hello everyone! So it's Monday now, today, and I went into work this morning and we were told that we were being put on a rotor system. So on the rotor, I'm not in till Friday. So it means I've now got uh, three days, a couple of days to get on with some stuff. So I do have schoolwork to do uh, as well in preparation for next week, but suddenly my sojo, my sewing motivation has appeared. I don't know what happened to it but suddenly it's sorted itself out. So I am going to finish a few of my works in progress first or at least one and then I'm going to cut some things out. So I want to cut out a few of the new patterns I've got because I haven't made them before. I'm putting off making the first version in case I waste the fabric and things. So I'm going to hopefully get those cut out and get something made up because once I get over that first kind of hurdle of knowing that it might fit me, then I usually will make quite a few more. So that's what I'm gonna get on with now. I have had a bit of a tidy round in this room. It's looking a lot better. The only difference is now is I had to bring loads of stuff home from school, uh, things that I might need to, to work, uh, like example sketchbooks and things like that. So I have got a box with those in now, but a box isn't too bad. So I have cleared this space over here now. So I've just got the white boxes and I've cleared the basket. All of my fabric scraps are in these plastic bags at the back here. I don't know quite what I'm going to do with those uh, quite yet. I, I'm hoping to make some scrunchies and things like that, but I might just hide those bags away in the conservatory downstairs for a bit and then get on with some new stuff and then deal with them kind of at a later point. So I'm gonna get my sewing stuff out and I will check in again later. So I've just done a bit of sewing. So I got out my five self-drafted dresses and I've attached the sleeves to four of them and stitched those on and then stitched the side seams of the one that didn't have the side seams stitched. So that means all I've got left to do is the neckband or kind of hem the neck and hem the bottom as well. So not much left to do on those but I'm going to leave that to uh, leave that until tomorrow because I don't tend to like to spend night times up in my sewing room. I like to kind of be downstairs. So I've picked out some fabrics and some patterns and I'm going to go downstairs and cut them out. Uh, use my dining room table for that. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to go through some of the things I'm going to try and cut out because I know I've got kind of two days, three days at home and then even though I've got to go to school on Friday I still have the weekend and I've got work to do but I've done bits and pieces for this week so and then I need to plan things for next week. So things I am going to sew. First up is this one. Now this is the estuary skirt pattern by Sew Liberated and this is the test version that I'm making. So I've got this teal viscose twill from like so amazing to try that out in then i am going to make 
the Tabitha t-shirt which is in the Make It Simple book by Tilly and the Buttons which I don't know where it is now but I will find it oh there it is oh. so the Tabitha t-shirt here and I am just go this is the first one I'm making of that so I'm just going for a plain cotton jersey so this is a green but what I'm going to do is then do some iron-on vinyl on it so I think I'm going to print out the word artist and I've got some patterned iron-on vinyl for my Cricut machine and I'm going to put that on it so I think that would look really cute just a green t-shirt with artist on I saw it on portrait artists of the year one of the people who was getting their portrait painted had artist and I literally have been obsessed with that ever since then I'm going to make a Bertha cardigan out of this so this is from like so amazing and it's a really fine knit again, really similar to the other knit that I used, which was a green with um, a grey fleck. This is navy with a white fleck, but perfect for the Bertha cardigan. And seeing as I'm going to be home a little bit more, I think is a really good one to wear. I have also picked this one out. So this is from Like So Amazing as well. Cute little cats is a cotton jersey with little crowns on and I am going to make a Frankie tee out of that which is another Tilly in the Buttons pattern. I am, I've adjusted my sewing slightly, I'm going to make some new patterns but some things that I will wear now because I think that that's going to be a really good mix for me, uh, definitely things that I can wear kind of at home. Then I've got the Georgie dress, so this is by Sew Over It and I've picked this out of my stash. now. The pattern says that you need 2.7 meters for, there is no way that I want to make a dress with 2.7 meters of jersey. Like, I don't think any dress pattern that I've made took that much. Even my long maxi dress didn't take three meters. I bought uh, three meters, but I didn't need it. So I think I've got two meters here. I'm going to adjust the pattern so it fits in this two meters of fabric. So this is a viscose jersey that I got from Stuff and Still. So it's got a tool background with them black and pink, but I think it would be really cute. This uh, design will really show off the fabric. And then lastly, I am going to sew the Bobby pinafore and I'm going to use this really beautiful chunky cord that I got from Like So Amazing quite a bit ago, actually. It's, it's kind of a blue green. It looks more blue, I think, but um, it is green. And I've got two meters of that, so hopefully that'll be enough. And I think I'll have enough off cut and off cuts of other pieces that I've got to make something else with it. So I don't know what yet, but I'm gonna make that one. That's quite a fun one. So that's a few things that I'm going to cut out. And that means I'll have, yes, more unfinished projects, but just a stash of things that I can just get on with. Uh, I like to cut out on an evening and then sew during the day. So that will hopefully allow me to do that. Uh, and then tomorrow morning I'll finish off those self-drafted dresses that I've been working on. So then I'll have five new dresses and basically nowhere to wear them. But you know, that's one of those things. So I will see you again tomorrow.
So I've just stopped cutting out for a snack. I was going to cut out all of these things last night, but I sat down to watch uh, the announcement from the UK government and uh, then was a bit in shock and spent the next hour or so talking with friends online and things. So haven't didn't have a chance to do the cutting out. Um, so I'm doing it today. So I've just cut out the Bobby Pinafore and the Tabitha t-shirt and then I've got the Frankie T estuary skirt and a Bertha cardigan to cut out as well. So I'm going to get those cut out. I've got a bit of a dilemma. For this pinafore and for this t-shirt I am using green fabric and I'm wondering what colour to put in my overlocker. So I've got grey, green and white but obviously this is a pale, quite a pale colour or maybe the grey or white. I think the white would be too much. So I'm potentially going for the green because at least it's the same colour, at least. Dilemmas of not having a massive thread collection for my overlocker. I have checked my emails a couple of times today for work, but I did loads of work yesterday and then tomorrow I'll be doing some work and some filming for school as well. So won't do as much sewing tomorrow but I am doing a bit of sewing it now so I'm going to finish cutting these few things out and then I'm going to finish off my self-drafted dresses. So next up I've got the Frankie T and I'm using this really beautiful cotton jersey from Like So Amazing. So because I'm going to be home these are the types of types of tops I'm going to be wearing a bit more so that's why I'm using this. Now I might have a bit left over as well. So I've just had an email from school to say the school is now shut, uh, any students that were attending are now going to be moved to the, a nearby school. Uh, we only had a couple attending, so it seems like people are staying home following the government's advice, so that's really good. Uh, and obviously I'm happy because now I don't have the worry, I just need to focus on getting some online content up for the students, which is really good. Um, I don't have a neckband piece. Where has that gone? Maybe it's in this folder. Ah, there we go. So just a little bit about my cutting out. Yes, I do still use scissors and yes, I do use pattern, weight, uh, pattern weights. But I know that that sounds a bit uh, of a strange combination because normally you would use cutting mats with a rotary cutter and pattern weights. Before when I cut out fabric, I used to use pairs of scissors to hold it down before I had pattern weights. And uh, I've always kind of done it that way. I have never pinned the pattern onto the fabric I was cutting. Uh, originally when I was cutting out, I used to cut out on carpet. So it kind of, the carpet kind of held the fabric steady. So you didn't necessarily need to need anything. It kind of just stayed together. It was a bit odd. Uh, and I haven't tried a rotary cutter, I've actually never used a rotary cutter. I think they, they seem fine but I'd be too worried about cutting my finger or something I think. And also in terms of time actually learning to use something new, that might be a bit of a challenge as well. So I just use my pattern weights in place of my scissors and for jersey I find it much better because it means that the natural stretch of the fabric it still uh, allows itself to do that which is better in terms of getting things cut out accurately. Jersey t-shirts are so quick and easy to cut out. So this last piece has to be placed on the fold, but I want to save as much fabric as I can. So I've got that much fabric left, which is quite a bit. And what I can do is just fold over a section, hopefully. I should just be able to do that. And then I'll have a chunk left, which will be really good to make something else out of, maybe a scrunchie, or maybe like the front of another t-shirt or something like that, uh, hopefully. Yes, awesome. And then I've still got a bit of fabric left then, which I always like to try and have bits left, which is why I've got such a kind of large stash of uh, remnant pieces. So I've cut all these things and it would be great to know which item you kind of want me to sew first. And then I can do a bit of a sew along with that. It won't be a proper tutorial or anything. It will just be me sewing and chatting. So if you have got any questions you'd kind of like me to answer whilst I'm doing that, uh, just let me know what pattern you'd like me to sew first. 
and also um, what questions you'd like me to answer if you have got any questions at all and then I can sew and talk to you at the same time which would be quite nice. I noticed uh, on YouTube there's quite a few people doing extra content because they're home which is great and I've been watching along with quite a few of them uh, which is it's just a nice way to fill the time it makes you feel that there's a bit more of a community uh, I also wonder about doing like a live sewing thing I'm not 100% sure about doing it live mainly because I do edit my videos so that would be slightly different something different to get used to but if you would like something like that, uh, obviously just comment and say that's what you'd like and then I will endeavour to give it a try in this time of mystery. So I've got quite a big piece of fabric left there. I am cutting the neckband a little bit longer because I sometimes adjust, adjust the neckband, uh, the neckline, sorry, to make it a little bit to open up the neckline a little bit so I've just done that okay next up I've got the Bertha cardigan so using this navy and white knit I hope I've got enough I think I've got a meter and a half so hopefully I'll just be able to squeeze it in and remind myself of the pieces so I've traced these on Swedish tracing paper so they are quite large pieces so that's the sleeve piece well that was helpful i totally wrote what that was i'm assuming that's the cuff uh then what's this front bodice back bodice and then these pieces so this has to be cut like that that's the longest piece and that needs to go on the fold okay okay so i'm going to try and lay these all out on this fabric I've had this fabric for so long, I'm so glad that I've finally got a pattern to use it with. I was going to make a Blackwood cardigan out of it, but I feel like it wouldn't have worked as well. I think it's much better for a looser fit cardigan. And then I was going to make like a sweater out of it, but actually after I made my first Bertha cardigan, this kind of light sweater and it's going to be perfect. Well, light. I don't know if it's not a sweater in it, it's just like a knitted fabric. What I've done is I've put the cutting mats on my normal desk. Normally I cut it downstairs, but it was a bit chilly down there. And uh, also there's a lot less kind of foot traffic with my husband. He can just watch TV downstairs. And so I'm up here, but I've put the two cutting mats to like extend it because the desk actually finishes like here. So it's actually working quite well. I'm quite pleased actually. And also the cats don't seem to be up here too much because normally they absolutely love jumping on the fabric. So again, that's a plus in terms of productivity to get stuff done. Obviously I will square all of these uh, up a little bit, but nice to see they fit. And then a really stupid bit left at the end, which I probably won't be able to do anything with. Just a bit awkward, but that's just one of those things. So I think that is all of the pieces, just check. Okay, I'm going to weight this down and then I can start cutting out. I'm just trying to think if I made any adjustments to this. I think the adjustment that I made was to shorten the sleeves, which I'll just do that afterwards. I could really do with adjusting the pattern really, but that's fine. I can adjust the sleeves afterwards and then adjust the pattern later on. And I got really confused with these pieces the last time and fitting them together. Uh, it got really confused because I couldn't see the notches because that's one problem with these types of knits is when you cut a notch in you can't always see it so that gets a little confusing well, I think this is why I had problems last time because I didn't cut the notches because I haven't drawn them on this front bodice piece oh, oh well <laughs> okay so the Georgie dress then is this one. So it's a wrap bodice with the skirt. And then you have a choice of ones. So you can do this here or this one. I'm not actually sure which I might do. They both take the basically the same amount of fabric. Maybe I should do the non-gathered one to start with. Any choice is fine. So... I've got this fabric 
from Stop and Steel. It's a viscose jersey, really beautiful quality. I think I've got about a metre and a half of that, maybe two metres, so there might not actually be enough, but I'm sure I can hack it about a bit. And then I've got all of the AO printed uh, pieces. So I need to work out what size I need to make. Hopefully it says the sizes on the back. So I looked at this yesterday and I think I need to make a size 12, but I need to grade out for the waist because the finished waist measurements are 30 and a quarter. And the finished bust measurement is 34. God, they've put three inches of ease. I don't think I want it that stretched too for me. But if I size up to the 14, will the shoulders not fit me? I think I'd actually be better to go to the 14 because the finished garment sizes, I like to wear things with matching ease. So I don't like things to be too stretched. So the finished garment, so the 14, the finished garment measurements is 36 for the bust and 32 for the waist, which would match my measurements when my bust is 37. So that'd be fine. Whereas if I went for the 12, it would, it, I think it would turn up a little bit too small. So I think I will cut out the 14 and just see how that goes. Okay, the pattern cut out. Ready? I'm actually feeling really tired after all of that cutting out and things. So what I'm going to do is pause this uh, pattern here and probably cut it out tomorrow or on Thursday maybe. And I'm going to go ahead and continue with my self-drafted dresses. Just finding myself standing up and kind of bending over the table. Um, I feel quite tired now. So I will continue on with this later. And also because I'm going to have to do a little bit of thinking. Because I think I haven't got quite enough fabric. So I need to just make sure I do it properly. So not to waste the fabric. So I am going to put on the iPad. Watch some YouTube maybe or something on Netflix. And then I'll come back to you when I've done a little bit of sewing. So it is now Wednesday morning. I didn't actually end up sewing any of my self-drafted dresses last night and finishing them off. But I am going to pop and do that now. So I've got a pile here <laughs> of in progress. And literally I need to sew the neckbands, uh, hems for the sleeves and the hem for the bottom so it's literally I've pinned everything she need to go through and sew everything so fairly easy but I am going to put that footage into the next video so this is the end of the first few days of this I've decided I'm just going to call the series uh, sew with me and catch up because that is essentially what it is. I'm hoping to do a few videos, I'll just film some footage and then put it together and edit it and put it up as and when I can. So I will see you again in a couple of days. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please press the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hear more from me. Goodbye.